everybody and welcome back or welcome to my youtube channel so by the description or by the title of this video you can obviously kind of already tell what it's going to be about um i had many people on my instagram ask me my for my skincare routine and some of the things that i do to have like clean glowing healthy looking skin so i thought what better way than to do a youtube video and to show you guys all the products that i use um I am going to be showing you all the products that I do use regardless if they're sponsored or not just because I feel like some people really have no idea what brands to get and I do think brands matter. Brands always matter. What I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is my night skincare routine and some things that I do in the morning. Um, honestly, my morning routine really is nothing special. Um, I do pretty much the same thing that I do at night but like not really. But we'll get into that. So it's the first thing that I do when I'm taking my makeup off and cleaning my face at night is obviously to take off my eyelashes. Go ahead with a makeup wipe and just remove all of my makeup um, that I can get with a makeup wipe. It doesn't really matter what makeup wipe. Um, this is Beauty 360. I like these ones because they are a good wetness. I don't really know how else to like say it. There are some... Um, some makeup wipes that are like too dry or they're like too wet and they're like soaping at your face. This is like the perfect wetness for me because if I'm lazy and I don't want to wash my face, I can just use a makeup wipe and I'm like good to go. The routine that I'm going to be showing you guys um, is not something I do every night. It was something that I do one to two nights a week, which is... Dermaplaning. Dermaplaning, honestly, ever since I started a few months ago, I have seen tremendous results in my skin. Um, because I would, I mean, I still frequently have like the small breakouts, but I would have like zits everywhere, all over my face, not controllable. Now it's just like one little spot treatment that I can do um, without like putting the spot cream all over my entire face. I obviously use a makeup wipe every night, regardless if I have makeup on or not, just because you do want to get the oils off of your face um, before you go to sleep because you sweat in your sleep and people break out from sweat. So after I have everything cleaned off, I clean my face with a cleanser. I swear by Noxzema. I use Noxzema all the time. I keep that in my shower. I use it every time I shower. I use it just about every day. Noxzema is amazing. I also use Michael Todd Charcoal Detox. This is what I use before I dermaplane my face. I wanna give a huge shout out to Sonic Smooth. Um, Sonic Smooth is a dermaplaning system and they have actually sent me a dermaplean razor. I've had it for um, a little bit over a week now and I've used it. It's amazing and it, it does a lot. It does an amazing job which I will show you guys but it comes with before cleaner and after treatment. These are incredible. I would highly recommend these to anyone who dermaplanes your face. Regardless what razor you use, these are like magnificent. When I don't dermaplane, when I'm just, you know, getting ready for bed, I use Noxzema. When I do dermaplane, I use the Charcoal Detox Cleaner, which I'm going to use right now, and then I will be back. So I just washed my face as much as I wish I could just, like, snap my fingers and wake up with healthy skin. It is an investment. This is the Derma Clean Blade called Sonic Smooth. There is a button that turns on, and it's literally just like any other, like, razor, but it has levels that you can use, but it just has the one blade for your face. Obviously, you want to have all of your hair out of your face. So whenever you're dermaplaning your face, you want to make sure that you keep the blade at a 45 degree angle along your face. And then you're just brushing down. I like to keep it at the lowest setting because honestly, any higher is kind of aggressive for me. But you can just see all of the skin that comes off. You can just see all the skin. And guys, I do this 
once a week and there's this much skin that still comes off. If you've never had your face dermaplaned, oh my goodness. It's shocking the first time you have it done. The first time I did it to myself, I was like shocked. So I know that there's there's probably like wrong ways and right ways to do this. I'm no professional, obviously. How I do it works for me. Um, it gets all of the hair and all of the dirt off of my face. It may not be the right way, but it works for moi. If something happens when you're doing it my way, you can't blame me, I'm not a professional. <laughs> So whenever you're doing this, your face is going to feel like hella dry or it's going to look really dry, but it's truly just the skin that's coming off. So I always have to be kind of careful on my nose because I like always cut myself on my nose. Found the lowest setting on my nose definitely is the best. <laughs> So I just finished dermaplaning my face. So my next step, right after I dermaplane my face, I go in with a chemical exfoliator. This is actually very crucial to dermaplaning in my opinion. Um, just like with my experience, I found that my face has just benefited more from dermaplane when you use the exfoliator. Cause this just kind of goes in with like a second coat of just like making sure all the dead skin and all of the dirt is off of your face. This is exfoliate I swear by. It is Peter Thomas Roth peeling gel. Um, you put it on your face and you just put it on in circular motion and it just takes off all the dead skin. I would recommend chemical exfoliator over any other exfoliator easily like if you're going to get an exfoliate get a chemical one if you want the kind that's best and works the best without you like ripping off a layer of your skin because this just kind of like does it for you it's you know the best for sensitive skin it's also just the most gentle for your face especially after putting a razor to it because you can just see like all of that skin build up that has formed on my face over a week because I just did this last week. It's unbelievable. Like the skin, like the amount of dead skin on your face, you have no idea about. All right, so I am back after washing my face. After I dermaplane my face, my face is like the softest thing in the world. It's, this is so crooked. So I was like a quick, I use a makeup wipe every day. So I dermaplane and exfoliate one to two times a week no more than that um going more than two times a week is probably a little much for your face um it's just also not really necessary you don't want to overdo it so then after i exfoliate i use the after treatment gel by michael todd beauty it's refreshing it just it feels really 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 nice on your skin um, so I only use the after treatment gel after I dermaplane and I only use the cleaner before I dermaplane. For the things that I do daily, I'm going to get into that now. I always use a makeup wipe, that I already said. And immediately after I use a makeup wipe, I use Post Makeup Recovery Spray by Skin Dinavia. Um, I actually got this for free um, from a professor that I had. This is amazing. This stuff cleans your pores immediately after makeup. Like if you're like me and you like a lot of makeup when you wear makeup, this is your thing. You just spray it, miss it on your face. I use that every day. And then after that, I use, this is like a really, really important part to like almost any skincare routine in my opinion rose water is very 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 good for your face it doesn't matter what rose water you get any type of facial rose water is going to make your skin glow like your face will look like petals from a rose if you spray it with rose water the one that i have is pearlescence soothe rose water facial tonic this I use every morning and every night. When I wake up, I'm one of those people with like a super puffy face and I look like I just woke up. This stuff refreshes my face in the morning. It does miracles. I 
put it on super super thick and then I just go like this almost kind of like a face mask and it eventually just all goes into my skin that's basically the skin routine that I do give or take every day um, once twice a week I swear by it I have seen amazing amazing results in my skin I highly 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 recommend if you're on a budget and you don't want to buy super expensive dermaplaning razor I think that you should definitely get the cheap ones on Amazon that aren't electric because they have them for like five dollars for a pack that's like one of the main reasons why I have healthy skin makeup wise um, the only product that I would recommend for makeup that helps my skin is this is not sponsored as well this is Glossier Priming Moisturizer this stuff is amazing i have oily to dry skin so when i wake up my face can be dry sometimes it's oily in some places but dry in other places this is an amazing moisturizer but at the same time it also is an excellent makeup primer so you kind of kill two birds with one stone this is actually very reasonably priced for the product that it is um, primers themselves are not cheap moisturizers are not cheap and this is all in one so this is like really the only makeup thing that I would recommend because this makes your skin look like it's glowing. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like to see more videos of like this from me, leave a comment. If there's anything else you guys want to know, like whether it be my makeup routine, my, my hair routine, anything like that, I'm open. If you guys aren't subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribed, liked, and commented. 